Okay, so the old fence went over this brick retaining wall. You can see where the old post was and where the rocks ended. It literally went here. They dug into their retaining wall to put a fence in it. It was terrible, y'all. So, so we went, we ran flush to the brick wall. There's no gaps and it's completely again, scribed. Scribed. These are new, this is the new post. So all the other ones are old. And they only had one bracing in the back for nine, eight, nine foot. They only had one when you're supposed to put two, so you have four points of contact on the pickets and they don't warp. They had some extreme warping going on. Describe it. Describe your cuts. Don't leave gaps. So I go. I don't even want to go back there and show you. See the old. We had to salvage the old ones. These were just braced in the middle. We took them down, used them as a top brace, and put new ones on the bottom. But again, I scribed all the new ones. All the new ones are scribed cuts, right? But the old ones, I, I can't even show you. It's, it's a nightmare. It gives me a headache because they cut all their one by six, two by six is too short, and new caps. So we made the best of what we could with what their budget was. And they just wanted it for another five years, five years I think, and then she said they're gonna demo it all and have a brand new fence done properly. Or maybe brick, I can't remember. But so this is coming down. We're just gonna cut this post out, put a new post here, here and right up against this brick. So we're gonna run the new fence right behind the brick because they want to cover up that masonry work. So we're gonna run the fence behind flush with that brick wall, cover up like so cover that back up. Come out to here. This is we're just gonna cut this out. So we're disassembling it. Disassembling and finishing off this nightmare corner. But it's gonna look a lot better when we're done. Be going flush with the house. Huh? Yeah! Okay!